Hello guys and gals, and this is another Vlog Friday. Um, the exact number of which one it is will be correct in the, the, the title. I'm believing, I believe it's 13, but I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, lucky number 13, I guess. Anyways, um, yeah. As always, we will be um, going over what we went over the previous weeks. So a lot of this is basically repeated, but um, it's important stuff. And it's stuff that is easily overlooked or forgotten. As always, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, it was Thanksgiving yesterday. And um, so, I mean, that's good. Of course, um, during this time, it can't, the, um, yeah, words. <laughs> um, during this time, it can be difficult for some people to, um, cope during the holidays, especially if you've lost loved ones during this time. I mean, Christmas is still hard for me since I lost my mom, but anyways, um, yeah, so sometimes we usually take holidays as, um, you know, happy times, but, um, some holidays aren't happy for everybody, especially, as I mentioned, if there was loss or um, it brings back bad memories. But anyways, we are going to um, go through all this and um, we're going to get this underway. There we go. Um, let's see. Anyways, it's also easy to be depressed. I realize that um, what I suggest isn't exactly a cure for depression or... Um, you know, just the general gloom that's around. But, um, anyways, we are going to go over it anyways. And that is to do something you enjoy at least once a day. Make sure it's something that's legal in your area. And, um, that could be to, um, allow yourself a special treat like, um, candy bar. I don't know if I'm, that might vary if you have certain dietary restrictions, but, um, just do something to pamper yourself, I suppose. And, um, that should help a little bit. It isn't a, a cure or anything like that, but, um, or watch funny YouTube videos or something. Number two is there is always someone who cares and it's sometimes, um, we live in a society where it is, it can be difficult to, um, realize that people care. Um, we live in a digital age and you can have like 5,000 people on your friends list and you can still feel very much alone. And, um, it's basically because um, we've kind of disconnected ourselves from everybody else, which is, um, which is kind of tragic, really. I'm not saying that the digital age is tragic. It's not really a tragic age. In fact, we've got more information now than we have, you know, throughout history. It's just that it's easy to feel isolated in amongst these, um, fast moving times. Number three is really important also. And we go over this every single time because it's important. Um, there's a stigmatism attached with, well, mental illness in general, and, um, again, when we go over societal, societal tags, um, we'll go into this more in depth, but, um, there's usually, um, a stigmatism attached with, um, a social stigmatism attached with, um, uh, with, um, seeking help, which, which is kind of silly, really, because if you seek help, then you feel better. And I do realize that some people that, do have depression or suffer from depression have found ways to to um fight it without medicine which is which is good i mean i really admire that but um there are some mental conditions that you know medication is required for like um bipolar and um paranoid schizophrenia and um if a medicine makes you feel makes you feel better it's prescribed or over the counter and, um, perfectly legal, then, um, there should be no shame at all in, you know, making yourself feel better and, um, treating whatever is afflicting you. 
But that said, if you are suffering from an affliction, that means either a physical affliction or a, a mental affliction, such as, as I said, depression, paranoia, schizophrenia. Uh, there's so many. There's like borderline. Borderline is also a mental condition. Um, if you're suffering from, you know, something that does require medication, again, I'm not saying that depression requires medication to be treated properly, but uh, then um, there's no shame in seeking help. And this um, society um, tends to, um, you know, do that, to um, shame people that actually seek help. And it's kind of sad, really, because if it makes you feel better, then um, you should do it. No matter how bad things get, there's always hope. And that's one thing, another thing we really need to hold on to is because we live in a society of hopelessness, it seems like. Um, which, uh, well, there's lots of uncertain times and it's hard for people to cope with that. And um, so, yeah, the main thing is to always hold on to hope and things will get better. Uh, but yeah, as long as you have hope, you you have hope. Hope, I guess. That didn't come out right. But, anyways. Um, ah, this is the one I was waiting for. Number five is the societal tags are pointless. And that's true. I mean, I, I feel, personally, that um, societal tags, um, they isolate people and um, single people out. And whether they're racially motivated tags or um, religious religiously based tags... Um, or even just jokey like tags, you know, it's, it, it singles people out and, um, we really need to get along in these times. It's my personal opinion that, um, well, everyone's important. I mean, it doesn't matter what your profession is. If you even have a job, everyone basically is important in this world. And, um, I think that, um, societal tags basically, I don't know, subjugate, people and that's just it's just not right um it could be um sexual orientation tags um so stuff like that it's just um you miss out on um meeting really great people if you form a um a mindset about them before you even know them and um it's just tragic really because you could miss out on being friends with someone just because I don't know, you don't like their sexual orientation. You don't like whatever religion they're into. And um, societal tags are really good about, you know, isolating people. And that's not what we need. We need solidarity and we all need to come together, you know? Anyways. Um, well, this is the last one. Okay. I can get rid of this thing. Okay. It says number six, be yourself. There will never be another you. And then I went over this a little bit last time. But um, I wanted to add that um, people who are really popular on YouTube are popular because they are themselves. I mean, um, they aren't clones of somebody else, you know. Um, they're themselves. They're fun. Um, I, I've pointed out quite a few times is that I've that um, some YouTubers, it takes a while. I think everyone goes through an awkward phase when they first join YouTube or make videos or Twitch or whatever platform it is. I believe that you, um, YouTubers um, go through like a phase where they, kind of an awkward phase, where they haven't quite found themselves yet and maybe they try to be somebody else. I mean, a good example of this is um, Jacksepticeye. When he first joined YouTube, what was it, 10, 11 years ago? Um, he was awkward and he hadn't, he was really, I think he had seen other YouTube videos, so he tried to act like them and it just wasn't working out for him. And so then one day he just broke out with his, Hey, top of the morning to you laddies and stuff like that. And then everything fell into place because hey, he was himself. He was, um, he wasn't being or trying to be somebody else, which is really an inspirational story. Um, if you want to know more about that, there was a, um, a behaviorist, I think, I don't remember what the exact title of the person was, but he reviewed Jack's videos and um, from a psychological standpoint. And then, um, you know, it was really fascinating. I might put that video in, to the, in the description if I can find it again. But um, it was really a fascinating video, you know, into like 
actually how the um, YouTube algorithms work and um, really a fascinating video. Um, th then again, I don't remember what the guy's um, title was, but he had um, a title and he would go through, go around and um, analyze people's videos and, um, you know, dissect them um, from a psycholog psychological standpoint. Really a fascinating thing. Anyways, but yeah, I, I'll try and hunt up that um, video and um, link it in the video, uh, in the description. But yeah, it's, the thing is that you should always be yourself. I mean, again, it goes back to societal tags. If you are yourself, you might get some of those um, societal tags. But, as I pointed out, societal tags are basically pointless. And, yeah, it took me that long just to get through all six of these points. Anyways. But, yeah, it is really important that um, everyone remains hopeful. Um, things will move along. But, um, yeah, all these points here are very important. Anyways, I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I wanted to say. I do want to reiterate that everyone is important. Um, everyone has a role to play, you know, in the fabric of society. And um, it's just important that, um, that you feel your best and not um, worry about social, stigma t uh, social stereotypes or anything like that. Uh, because... Hey, who you, who you are is really important. And I just wanted to um, make sure that was abundantly clear. Anyways, if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell so you know when I upload. And if you support me in any way, all that information will be in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.